here, it's ready to go live in three, two, one. Awesome. We are live. Hi, everybody. I am Emily Kennison, the founder and inventor behind Robe Curls, an incredible brand with a curling headband line that creates heatless curls that are amazing. And I wanted to tune in today because um, I just took down my curls about 12 hours ago. And so I wanted to show you how long the curls actually last. So I put in this product last night, wore it to bed, woke up in the morning, took it out and had amazing curls. And of course they fall in a bit throughout the day, but for someone who's curling iron curls falls flat, maybe like 30 minutes later, the fact that this still looks like this two out nine hours later, how much later is it? It's 12 hours later. It's nearly nine o'clock where I am. By the way, I'm in Slovenia. So if you're in America, you're probably six to nine hours behind me. <laughs> it's a new day here. Um, just here with some friends. It's been beautiful. It really is magical. I'll show you guys if you can kind of see it out the window. And also this is wild because if you look out the window, you'll see it's still bright, even though it's 9 p.m. almost here, which is crazy. Sun does not set and it is gorgeous. Anywho, I digress. But yes, I took my curling headband this morning, so 12 hours ago, and these are the curls that are left uh, 12 hours later, which is insane. Again, my hair does not hold a single curl when I use a curling iron. And I used to use it every day because I still like to have at least like some type of texture, but it was um, kind of pointless and sad. And I don't know if anybody else is in that same boat from what I gather, I am not alone. Um, but yeah, this is 12 hours later. Uh, I just wanted to show you a couple tips. So once, you know, they start to go flat, a couple tips and tricks to kind of revive it. Um, one of them is just to finger curl, sounds funny, finger curl the curls to revive them. If you wanna get more of that spiral tendrily look, you can just do this. As you see, some of the pieces have kind of just gotten nice beachy waves, which is awesome and I love that look too. But if you wanna revive more of a curl shape, you can always just finger curl them, twist them a little bit, and it'll plump it back up into that cylindrical, awesome classic curling iron shape. Same thing on this side. See, it's that more beachy look, which is very cool. I'm down for that too. And yeah, you just grab little sections and just do a little finger curl. I don't know how many of you already know this trick. If you are a curly haired girl, you most likely do. Um, and curly hair girls can use our product too, which is super cool. I have straight hair normally, stick straight. And again, never holds a curl, so this is awesome. Uh, yeah, so nine hours later, that's trick number one. Um, also for going to bed tonight, while normally I would dampen my hair before wrapping it, since it already has such a nice curl shape to it, I'm gonna skip the damp and just rewrap it with our curling headband. Um, Da, 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 with our curling headband. So why don't I walk you through that process because it is so easy and I can do it super quickly, but let me first actually grab one that I can show you. All right, so here she is. She is a beauty. Uh, she is covered in satin charmeuse, which is fabulous. It helps to reduce frizz, friction, split ends, Trust me, my hair did not look like this a year ago. I've been using this forever and it has helped immensely. And also why my hair is now so long because I stopped with all the hot tools and this thing is incredible. All right, inside we have a plush microfiber fleece padding. You can see here, super plush. It is extra comfortable to sleep in, like a soft pillow, you're good to go. Um, and this also helps to absorb extra moisture. So as I mentioned, normally I would dampen my hair. This helps to make sure that that damp rapid dries. So you're able to take it out and be on your way curling uh, faster, which is awesome. It also has infused with an H2 Air Tex, a proprietary uh, blend that is antimicrobial, antibacterial, and most importantly, it helps your hair maintain its natural moisture level. This is key because this is why my hair is still this curly 12 hours later. Um, what it does is it absorbs moisture. Yes, I mentioned it's extra fast with the moisture wicking, but it also 
make sure that it doesn't over absorb moisture that your hair naturally needs. So your hair has a natural moisture balance. When you use hot tools, you're dipping about 10% below that natural moisture balance, which is not good and making your hair dry and brittle. Fabrics can do the same thing. Um, it can, like cotton, for instance, just over absorb. So this helps to make sure that your hair is maintaining its natural balance. And because it's happening in that natural state, it locks in the curl and the shape that it is. When it is over dried, it does not have the best Wi-Fi. Not gonna lie, I have, ah, I think we're back. Okay, so sorry, Slovenia does not have the best Wi-Fi, which is where I currently am. I have worked at a laundromat for most of my trip here because it turns out they have fabulous Wi-Fi and also really nice chairs for people to sit in while they wait for the laundry. So it's been a great working spot. Um, but yes, okay, so inside is also an integrated wire and that allows for total curl control and it also makes this into a wearable updo and feels super secure on your head so that you can literally go to the gym go running, go do yoga. I played soccer in it. So you're good to go about your yoga. I played soccer in it. So you're good to go about your day and also you look cute. And that to me was a very important thing when designing and inventing this product is that we don't feel embarrassed while we're waiting for our hair to dry and we're waiting for these heatless curls to set. I just couldn't take it anymore. So we've reinvented it for the new wave of ladies who are multitasking, busy and yeah, got places to be and always should be looking cute and feeling confident. So that's what we got here. So the way it works, and I'll teach you my tips and tricks. First thing I always do is I fold it in half. As mentioned, you'll feel an integrated wire on one side and the plush fat microfiber fleece with the H2 AirTex on the other side. And then with the wire facing forward, which is pretty key, you put it on like you would a normal headband. So for me, we're looking at about an inch away from the hairline and you just want it sitting there. You should have your hair brushed and parted into two. I don't really want to brush out these great curls. Should I? It's more realistic. But these are just from 12 hours ago. All right, either way. Uh, so you take one half, wrap it up then around and then you just take the end and you twist it around. And this is not the look we're going for, but this is what we're doing just to keep the hair stabilized while you work on the other side. No clips needed, no nothing. You look like Pippi Lou, I think that's the word I want to use, Susie Lou. She's in the Grinch, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, and then so to begin, <laughs> hello, and so to begin what you're going to do is take a front section. If you want tighter curls, go smaller, you want bigger curls, go bigger but you're looking at taking a front section. About one inch is a good place to start so you can see what kind of curls form with your hair. Every hair is different. We've done it on over 500 people's hair before we launched it. So we've learned a lot about how to locate and lock in the right type of curl patterns for people. But yes, so you take that front section and you wrap it over and under. Here's a little tip I do. I use my thumb to just lightly press the hair down on the back side so that you can easily add another piece and keep this nice and smooth looking. So just grab another piece right under it, another one inch section. I used to call that chunk. I'm glad I remembered not to call it chunk. I feel like chunk just sounds so wrong. Section and wrap it over and under. And again, I use my thumb to just hold it in place while I add another piece and that just keeps it smooth. And so yeah, add another one inch section and wrap it over and under. I can't French braid, let me mention. So that's how easy this is. Once you get to about the ear level, maybe I'll do one more. But once you get to the ear level at this point, just grab whatever hair is left, all of it on this side and take it and wrap it over and around. And now you're good to go and just wrap, 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 wrap. And we're done. The reason we do that is because we're trying to avoid getting a poof. If you keep adding bit by bit as you move down, you're gonna get this awkward like poofy thing over here, which isn't cute. And plus it doesn't really help the curls shape by doing it that way, doing the section by section as you go down this way. When you uh, do it, grab all the hair once you're at the ear, what's gonna happen is that the curls are gonna start center 
for this back section hair that you're now wrapping. So that's good. So you always wanna just grab all the hair once you're at the ear. So just untwist, re-straighten, and I'll re-mention that this wire here should be facing forward, so make sure that's there. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So take your small one inch section and wrap it over and under. As you notice, I have a side part. So yes, you can part your hair any way you normally like to. And all you can do if you wanna be a perfectionist about it, which I haven't been, but when you part it, you can overcompensate on one side so that you have about an equal amount of hair on both sides. It shouldn't make a huge difference, but um, yeah, it's a way to keep it even. So again, we're just adding a section with each wrap. And then once you get to, and I'm using my thumb, as I mentioned, this is a super helpful tip. And then once you get to about the ear, just grab all the hair and wrap it around. And again, this will help the curls to start sooner in the back, which is a good thing. Fabulous. So if I wasn't doing this as a demo, I could do it in about 45 seconds. <laughs> you'll get really fast at it. And maybe at first, like the longest you'll clock in is five minutes, but trust me, by the second time you do it, you'll be clocking in under three. And by the 10th, you'll be under 90 seconds. So it's very doable. And compared to curling irons, which I used to spend, I don't even wanna talk about it, 45 minutes a day doing, which was absurd. Um, yeah, I'll take 90 seconds or five minutes any day. All right, so we're down here. Now, this is super cool. So the integrated wire that I mentioned before, and again, it's facing forward, this gives you total curl control. So if you want tighter curls, take it and just twist it. Twist it away from your face. See how it's just grabbing all the hair and twisting it tighter? Now look, if I let go, it stays where it is. The wire is like the perfect strength so that it will stay where it is and it's also covered by our plush microfiber fleece lining so that it is comfortable to sleep in and does not bother you. So if you want tighter curls, twist it tighter. If you want looser curls, loosen it up a bit. You have options here, ladies. Awesome. And the last step to complete the do, I'll make a note here. See how this is sticking out? Really not the end of the world. I'll leave it, you'll see, it gets tucked away. All right, so let's go to the back. This is cool. You just make an X and tuck it under and tuck it over. And that is it. It's on and it's not going anywhere. I am comfortable. I am secure. I can go running. I can play soccer in it. Like I mentioned, yoga, anything, go do your cartwheels. You're good to go. This is perfectly good, not going anywhere. So you just wear this for a couple hours. If you had made your hair lightly damp, never make it drenched, just lightly damp before you wrapped it, then you're gonna wanna wait completely for your hair to dry. Do not take it out before your hair is totally 100% dry because if you do, your curls are gonna look kinda sad and wonky and like, kinda like a wet dog. All dogs are cute, so you're still looking cute, but it's not the look we're going for. So just make sure that if you went in with damp hair, wait for it to dry and you'll be good to go. Now, you can sleep like this if you're going to bed. It is comfortable, you should be fine. But if for any reason it's not, you can always just untuck it. So remember we did this, just go untuck, untuck. Great. And now you're good to go. So if this is more comfortable to sleep with them just like a pigtail, do that. If it's more comfortable to sleep with them like ram horns or uh, ram horns, I don't know. Uh, what is it, Princess Leia buns? Go ahead, you can move these things around and because of the integrated wire, the curl shape is gonna stay the same. These aren't moving. So feel free to move this to make it comfortable uh, for your sleep or for most people, just do the cross and tuck and you'll sleep and look like a princess while you sleep. Cool. So that is our curling headband. I'm so proud. It took us over a year to get the product absolutely perfect. And we tested it on over 500 people before we actually launched the version you see today and tested it on all different hair types. So we've done short hair, 
which I'll, I'll give some notes. Shoulder length, good. Chin length, not good. Too short. In between, it's a gray zone. Um, you can give it a whirl, but really the issue is if you have layers on top of short hair, then we can have um, some issues because then some hair is shorter and hits more of that chin length. Otherwise, you should be good to go. And there are different wrapping techniques that I'm happy to walk you through. I think we talk about them in some of the other videos for short hair, um, for layered hair. If you have bangs, we have tips and tricks on that. Um, but lots of different techniques so that everybody is covered. Um, and yeah, it is a phenomenal product and we stand by it a hundred percent. So if you do not like it, if you have any problems at all, just reach out to us because we are 100% here to help. Hello, hun. Okay. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? <laughs> we got a commenter. Um, <laughs> hello. Uh, so yes, so we are here to help. If you have any questions, give us a shot and we can totally make sure that you are happy. We haven't had any issues. And I think one of the coolest things about having brought this product to life is, I mean, beyond people actually loving it, which is really awesome and heartwarming just to see how it makes a difference, is seeing where people are wearing this. This is the first time you can actually curl your hair on the go. We put the style back into styling. <laughs> yeah, it was cheesy. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to see what some of our curl friends have worn our curling headband. We call our customers curl friends. I love it. Also kind of cheesy, but I absolutely love it. Um, and we had one woman who I was just blown away who wrote a comment saying that she wore it while in labor and felt awesome. And I, I was like, that is so cool. <laughs> that not only did she just have a baby, but she wore our curling headband while giving birth and then told us about it and, and sent us a picture of the baby and it's adorable. We had another woman that wore it to her wedding, another woman that wore it on her motorcycle bike She's in like a biker's girl gang, which is so awesome. Um, and so she sent us in some pictures. I mean, just the places you can go now is awesome. And uh, yeah, and still be curling. And as mentioned, I wear it to soccer. <laughs> so yeah, we are here to multitask since that's what us ladies do. So we have our Rogue Curls Curling Headband. If you comes with two scrunchies, two satin scrunchies, these we measured to the millimeter, so they are not tight on your wrist, and they're also not tight on your hair because we do not want the issues we found when making this product and just trying to source regular scrunchies. All scrunchies are so tight. I, I, from what I've heard, it's not just me. They hurt your wrist most of the time, but um, yeah, what happened was with the tighter scrunchies that basically was all the scrunchies on the market, they would make the end too tight. You don't want this super tight. So two wraps around with our scrunchie is good. And that way you get an even curl pattern. You don't want the end to be like me. So we had to redesign the scrunchie to the millimeter and um, they're awesome. They're gonna be your new favorite scrunchie. And so if you happen to lose them, we now have the replacement pack since customers were like, my mom stole my scrunchie. I need my scrunchie, <laughs> no problem. So you have a replacement pack and what I really like about this is uh, we also include this little holder ring, just a little something extra because Lord knows I lost a lot of scrunchies. And so at least this keeps you organized. Um, and it comes in, as you can see here in our scrunchie pack, all the different colors that we have our awesome curling headband in. Um, these are the current collection that we have launched. And here are some of the other colors. So you can see it's a gorgeous mauve. This is our limited edition color. The rose is fabulous. It was collaborated on with this awesome uh, YouTuber, Alex Gabori, who does the most incredible hairstyles ever. Um, she launched with us after giving us a shot. I just cold emailed her and I'm like, Alex, you are incredible with hair. You are incredible at educating and communicating. I know you don't know us, we haven't launched yet, but would you give us a shot and create some, give our product a shot and let me know if you wanna collaborate. and. Uh, she said yes, but only if I absolutely love it. And she did. So we now have the rose for Alex Gabori. Um, and we have a beautiful cream, which is nice and simple, a good neutral. I absolutely love it. And we also have our classic cobalt, which is our brand color, um, inspired by the sunny oceans and the good times in life, the sky and the sea and all of that stuff. 
Um, and then we have a black, classic black, which you can see here. All of these are machine washable, so if they get dirty, you can toss them in the wash, don't worry. Uh, I would say do a delicate cycle, kind of like you would treat a wire bra as the best approach. I haven't treated my wire bras the best and they've survived, so, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, delicate wash would be my suggestion. And um, lay it dry to flat, just flatten it out. Don't throw it in the dryer, yeah. So these are our gorgeous collection of curling headbands. And we're so proud. We also have, and this honestly is super important. So I'll take this down demo again from the beginning. So as mentioned before, I did not wet my hair because my hair was already curled from today and I didn't see the need for it. But while I'm in Sylvania now, which let me give you a little view before the day goes. I don't know if you can see much. Yeah. You see those sounds? They're crazy. It's so cool. All right, so while I'm in Sylvania now, this is the real. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It is dry over here. It is kind of like Colorado temperatures, um, nice and cool and crisp. The other place I live for most of my life in the year is Puerto Rico, and there it is humid. And so I do need to wet it and let it dry before uh, wrapping it just to get that extra hold. The drier, less humid, your hair is gonna form these curls better, uh, have them last longer. And so over here, I don't need any extra mousse or anything. Puerto Rico humidity sometimes is 100%. <laughs> and it's pouring when it is. Uh, when it's not 100%, it's probably like 90 and about to pour. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, over there, if the humidity is high, I do want to make it a little damp and wet it first and let it set that way, even if my curls have lasted a little bit from the day, just because I want to reset it and the humidity is a hard thing to battle, but you can with this. So um, yeah, there I would use our micro fine mister. So I'm going to bring it into the works now so you can see what this is. This is our awesome micro fine mister. I do that. Can you see the spray? This is not your traditional mister. Oh no, I just missed it all of our products. <laughs> Oops. Um, this is not a traditional um, spray bottle. Spray bottles tend to give out really big chunks of water molecules. And this is also much better than that because of that reason. You want this like light perfuming of water on your hair. You really don't want it wet when you put your hair in the curling headband. You want it like cool to the touch, very lightly damp. Like you've perfumed your hair. So this helps to get that like perfect amount of dampness and also evenly coat it because it's a continuous microfine mister. So it helps to do that perfect coat of just like a light perfuming of particles. So I know I said I wasn't gonna get my hair wet. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> this kills me. All right, so I'll just show you. Here is my hair. I'm lightly perfuming it with the water. So in here I have water. When I'm in Puerto Rico, what I'll usually do is also add just about an egg amount of mousse in here. If it's extra humid, I don't mind a little hold. Really mousse is the only thing that is going to help your hair hold if you have fine hair like me. A lot of other products, whether it's hairspray that you put in after the fact or texturizing spray, those weigh down your hair. And if you have fine hair like me that's naturally straight, it's just gonna straighten it out um, quickly. So mousse is the only one that actually helps. And you really want to go for a light mousse. Again, the water and the air drying does all the work. And so any extra product is just going to help weigh it down and kind of detract from it. Unless humid and in desperate need for a little boost, go for a very light mousse. Try that first, trust me. Um, yeah, so take it from the top. My hair is now lightly perfumed with water and you brush it out. My curls, <laughs> I really do love curls. To all those that were born with perfect curls, very jealous. All right, so brush it out. Cool. I have a little bit more of a kink there, so I'm gonna give it from the shape while it dries. 
Perfect, so my hair is straightened. What you're gonna do is part it naturally. As I mentioned before, you can overcompensate. So if you are doing a side part, you can always just go more towards the middle and pull from the other side more hair so that, that the sides are about even. Again, that's just if you wanna make sure, I don't know, it's perfect. To be honest, I never do that, but <laughs> I just like how you can wrap and go. Um, but yeah, that is an option. Otherwise, part your hair in the middle, however you normally part it, put it into two sections and bring the sections to the front. As you can see, my hair is now very long, all thanks to the curling head. My hair could never grow this long before. Uh, and that's thanks to the curling iron. So you'll take your curling headband. As mentioned before, it's a satin charmeuse. Inside is a super plush, awesome microfiber fleece lining that's antimicrobial, antibacterial, and it also is extra fast moisture wicking. So now that I've dampened my hair, your hair will dry and those curls will be set much, much faster. And that's thanks to the H2 Air Text that we've incorporated inside with this fabric. There's also an integrated wire on one side and that's all on this long side. And so what you're gonna wanna do is fold it all in half so you get a sense of where the middle is. Put it on your head like you would normally a headband, so about an inch away from the forehead. Great. And most importantly, wire is not in the back. Wire is facing out. Here's my wire. So that wire is all along this line. That'll help the headband from not sliding. Put the wire back this way, the wire is gonna pull it backwards. So you want the wire facing forward, not backward. Great. And you have your two scrunchies. Well, I dropped one, so now I have two. Two scrunchies. And that all comes with your curling headband uh, when you buy it. So great. Put your less dominant hand, so for me, my left hand on top. Use your right hand, grab all the hair on that right side, pull it up, bring it around. Use your fingers to just pop this thing up. Great. And then you're just going to twist this around. You can even let go. This is just to keep this section in place. Again, this is not the look we're going for. I did better this time. That was kind of cuter, like a pigtail. Okay. <laughs> and now your hands are free and you are totally ready to work on the other side. So you take your small one inch section and you wrap it over and under, pull it taut, use your thumb to press it down. So what I'll do this time is I'll run through a couple tips and tricks for if you have shorter hair, if you have layers, or if you, um, want tighter curls. These all apply to you. So by shorter hair, I mean like shoulder length to here, about that. So what I would recommend if you are in that bucket is to go for smaller sections. So what you're gonna look at is about a half inch section right under the first, add to it. And when we do it this way, what's happening is you're creating more points of contact so it locks in your hair, it locks in the headband uh, more securely, and it also helps to maintain, if you have like layered hair, you get less of the spraying effect. I don't know if it's the right way to call it, but if you have layers, sometimes the ends can splay out. And so by doing it in smaller sections, it just helps to kind of integrate slowly each of the pieces, and it just makes for a cleaner wrap. Great, so as I mentioned before, when I wrap it over and under, I use my thumb to just hold it in place so I can add another piece to it. And when you're adding pieces, you should go uh, pretty much right under it. But if you have shorter hair, what you can do one little trip is to pull them in from further back. And that just means because if you have shorter hair, these pieces are also shorter. So just grabbing more hair that's further back will help to integrate them into the headband sooner which is good because the hair is shorter, so you want to get it wrapped around as soon as possible. So that's my shorter hair trick, tip and trick. Um, perfect. Now I got my hair tangled. Oopsies. All right, so now we're about at the ear. I'll do one more. And really, this doesn't need to be perfect, but yeah, it'll form great curls. It's just mad and all cute. Uh, okay, so once we get to the ear, grab all the hair and wrap it around. Fabulous. Doing smaller sections like this will also create um, more of a classic tendril spirally curl. So that's an option if you have longer hair and you want to play with creating different curl shapes. This will just create more piecemeal spirally curls as well. Fabulous. All right. 
Let's re-wrap on the other side now, guys. So untwist the hair, take out your Cindy Lou Who. I think I got that name right now from the Grinch. And straighten out your curling headband. And we're going to repeat the process on this side. So again, this is demoing for if you have shorter hair, if you have layers, lots of layers. And by shorter hair, again, it's like shoulder to chin length, that region, layers. And then also, um, if you just want smaller sections and tighter curls, you can do it this way too. So take your smaller one, like half inch section, pull it up and wrap it around. One other thing to note is that when you have longer hair, you have the leeway to kind of do a large front section and pull it around down and create more loose curls that way. For shorter hair, really, when you grab that first half inch section, you're gonna kind of want to pull it up like alfalfa and then wrap it around. Again, as I mentioned before, you're just trying to get your hair wrapped around the headband as soon as possible because you don't have as much hair length to play with. Um, and so when you pull it up like alfalfa and wrap it around, you are able to get it onto the headband and around sooner, which is fabulous. After each wrap, as I mentioned, I use my thumb to just press down so that it keeps a clean wrap. It's not a must, but it's a added tip I'm helping with. And add to it, wrap it up and around, up and around. And once you get to the ear level, just grab all of the hair that is remaining and just wrap it around. It is so easy to do. And I have my scrunchie. And if you lost your scrunchie, as mentioned, we have our awesome replacement pack. It is so cute. I mean, just really very cute, very cute. I work on this um, with my partner in life and he helped to create the packaging. He's did a very great job. All right, so now that we're down here, as mentioned, you can twist to tighten, which will just create tighter curls. It'll also just secure the headband more on the head. And then if you go to the back, this is how you can create the cute little updo. Just make your X, tuck one under, tuck one over. Boom. If you have, and I'm mentioning this especially for the short haired and the layers, if you have any like splaying pieces on the end, don't worry much about it because at this tucking process right here, it's gonna just keep them all in place. So don't worry if the ends don't look perfect, you're good to go. It's not the end of the world. And voila, your hair is wrapped up. So now that my hair is damp, I have to wait for this to dry before I take it out. Otherwise the curls will not have formed. So I'll probably have to wait hmm, two hours, but considering it's now past 9.30, I think, <laughs> in Slovenia, in Lake Bled, Slovenia, where I am, um, I'll probably just keep it in overnight. I'll sleep with it like this. It is super soft, super plush, super comfortable. We wanted to make sure the products that we created were comfortable and that you felt comfortable in them at every point. So whether you're going out on the run or a quick errand or to a party, like you look cute, you should feel comfortable, you should feel confident while you're curling and uh, also while you're sleeping. So it's plush, comfortable, you're good to go. But as mentioned, if it is, uh, if you just don't wanna sleep with it this way, the wire that's inside is awesome. It's integrated, it's gonna keep the curls in the tight shape that you want them to or in a looser shape if you want it looser, just untwist it a bit. And so you can go to bed like this, Princess Leia, whatever you want. Just move them around until you're comfortable in bed. And then if you have Halloween coming up, you have lots of costume ideas. So uh, yeah, love it. And to talk a little bit more about the uh, wire process since <laughs> we were the ones that created it, it was not easy to get this wire. Turns out there is no real wire metric for um, craft wires in terms of figuring out the right gauges and how uh, tense it should be, how bendable, malleable it should be. So it was hundreds of wires, <laughs> hundreds of wires. We even went to Home Depot at one point and went to the wire section uh, where they have like wire cables, uh, electrical cables. They have more metrics around it, but of course, granted, you don't want like galvanized steel in your hair. It's not what we're going for. <laughs> so yeah. 
turns out that has a nice metric system around it and numbers, but to find a good craft wire, forget about it. So we got the good one. <laughs> and that is important. Important having total curl control, important being able to wear this out and about. Like this is comfortable and secure. I could go on a run right now. That is awesome. That is empowering. And that is what we wanted to make, something that you can continue to live your life and you just happen to be curling. Great. So uh, I guess, yeah, we'll let this sit for a couple hours. You already saw the results. Um, and those results, again, they were 12 hours old. So the curls really do last, which is just so cool. Um, definitely gonna make a video on that at some point about the science behind why your curls last five times longer than a curling iron curl when using a curling headband, proven, uh, which is nuts. Um, but yeah, the science behind it is really interesting and to leave you with like a little uh, teaser or food for thought, um, it's similar to the science properties that are behind a wet towel that you lay out on a clothesline versus a wet towel that you put in a clothes dryer. Think about it. Which one ends up with a hard crease and really stiff and really maintains the shape in which you dried it? And which one comes out once it's done being dried? Super soft and fluffy. So the molecular principles at play for the wet towel is similar to the molecular principles at play when it comes to curling your hair with a heatless curling headband compared to a curling iron. So I'll let you think about that. That video will be coming and I think it is super interesting because yeah, we did a lot of research into that to make sure that what we're creating and the results that we're making are genuine and awesome. And uh, again, I just wanna emphasize, we appreciate all of our curl friends, which are customers, what we call our customers, and um, a little cheesy, but I love it. And we stand by our product. So if you have any questions at all on how to use it, if you're not getting the results that you were hoping for, if you wanna try find new results, we have a lot of tips and tricks. We have ways to make your hair look more beachy wave, ways to integrate braiding into your curling headband to create a more stylish updo. Um, and we wanna hear from you, we wanna help. We wanna make sure you love the product. So totally here to help. Reach out any questions at all, we're excited to meet you and uh, thank you all for joining this super long live stream. We hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, Slovenia is slowly turning to night. And so I think it's time that we say goodbye. <laughs> hope this was helpful. It was so nice to meet you all. And um, yeah, looking good, girlfriend.